Um, what should an imam make sure of before salah? An imam? Bismillah. Question from the UK with regards to what should an imam make sure of before the salah? He has a responsibility of himself and he has a responsibility of those who are standing behind him. As far as the responsibility for himself, then he has to make sure that he's doing it for Allah. He has to be sincere. He has to check his intentions and then how he's going to raise his hands, keep his back straight, recite the Quran beautifully, etc. Only for Allah and nothing else. And he has to make sure, of course, that he has the necessary tahara. He has to make sure that he's covered properly. And not just the basic covering, but the extra as well. No imam of a masjid should just want to just do the basic necessities. You should have your head covered, even if it isn't obligatory. You should have on loose, modest clothing, even if it isn't obligatory to wear a thobe or a kameez or a, 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 a dress from Mali or Nigeria or Indonesia, whatever the Islamic or the culture involved. The clothing of the Muslims, which is loose. doesn't have to be a Middle Eastern or a Persian thobe for no one to come and say, oh, you guys just want to be like Arabs. I have my own culture. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whether you come from West Africa, whether you come from Indonesia, Singapore, it doesn't matter. Whatever is the Islamic or Muslim clothing of that country that is loose and modest according to the Sunnah, you should make sure that your head is covered, make sure that you're dressed comfortably, make sure you're presentable, make sure you're clean, you smell well, and you should use the tooth stick, as we were just speaking about. Use the miswak, first and foremost, for Allah's sake. And also to show the people, to guide the people, and to lead by example. And then be in that make sure that the people are standing straight. Make sure that their shoulders are with their shoulders, their heels are with their heels, their chests are aligned. Make sure their faces are together. And you say what the Prophet used to say of warning the people from separating and splitting up, warning the people being divided, warning the people from not straightening the rows, and commanding them to straighten the rows and to check it yourself physically. Also, in 2019, there lies no doubt in the Nawazil, al fiqhia al jadida from the new modern day fiqh issues is a cell phone and getting people to cut off their phones. Unfortunately, because we're so obsessed with cell phones and we're, we're stuck to them so much and there is such a, a vital importance in our daily basic lives, people come to the masjid with cell phones. So it is your job to make sure that those phones are not ringing. Whether it is music, whether it is some type of chime, ching, whatever, or whether it is a normal ringer. Anything which is a means of disturbance. And anything which is a means of breaking and ruining the khushu'at. The imam should tell the people to humbly, kindly silence your phones. Do not disturb. Put it on silent ringer, airplane mode for five minutes. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt you. All the messages, whatsapps, Facebook notifications, they'll pop right back up after the salat, inshallah ta'ala. And Allah knows best.